Good morning, good evening, good afternoon in whichever time you're watching this. Welcome to SSC. In this video, we will be discussing 30 important MCQs covering the current affairs of August first week. And to make it more interesting, this week onwards, we will do it in a quiz format where you all can actively participate and which will be interactive. You will be given 10 seconds timer after each question and in those 10 seconds, you need to write the answers in the comment box. This has two advantages. First, the session won't be boring. And second, you'll remember more by writing because you are not here just to watch current affairs, but to remember current affairs. So let's go. So we have total of 30 MCQs. So without further ado, let us proceed. So do participate in the quiz and check your score at the end that how much you score out of 30. So write your answers in the comment box. Let us proceed. The first question. Who among the following has won gold in 49kg weightlifting event at the Commonwealth Games 2022? Is it A. Bindyarani Devi? Is it B. Mirabai Chano? Is it C. Guru Ras Pujari? Or is it D. Sanket Mahadev Sargar? Your time begins now. Well, the timer is over. The correct answer to this question is B. Mirabai Chanu. Yes, Mirabai Chanu was the first uh, player from India who has won gold in the Commonwealth Games and that is in weightlifting, 49 kg weightlifting event. So, Mirabai Chanu is the correct answer to this question. Commonwealth Games, as you all know, it was uh, hosted by Birmingham in England and it was recently conducted Okay, on 8th of uh, August was the closing ceremony of the Commonwealth. So this was it. Mirabai Chanu is the correct answer. I hope you have written the correct answer in the comment box. Let's go to the next question. The next question. Which point has been renamed as Gun Hill? Is it A. 0 0.5140? Is it B. 0 0.5100? Is it C. 0 0.4875? Or is it D. 0 0.4700? Your time begins now. Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is A.5140. 0. 0.5140, which is in Dras in the Kargil sector, it was renamed as Gun Hill on the 30th of July 2022 to commemorate the victory of Indian Armed Forces and pay homage to the supreme sacrifices of the gunners in Operation Wizard during the 1999 Kargil Wars. So, Gun Hill is 0.5140 renamed so this is it let's go to next question i hope you have written the correct answer the next question is world's most durable hydrogen fuel cell has been developed by scientists from which university is it a hong kong university of science and technology is it b university of toronto is it c university of lowa or is it the university of Safed? your time begins now Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. Yes, the scientists from the Hong Kong University of Science and Technology, they have recently developed the durable, most durable hydrogen fuel cell. And uh, this is the correct answer to this question. I hope you'll remember and I hope you have written the correct answer in the comment box. Let's go to the next question. The next question is Achinta Sioli has won India's third gold at the commonwealth games 2022 in which weightlifting category is it a 67 kg is it b 60 kg is it c 73 kg or is it d 86 kg your time begins now hurry up well the time is over the correct answer to this question is C73 kg. Yes, uh, Achinta Sioli, who is an Indian weightlifter, has won India's third gold in the men's uh, 73 kg event. Okay, Achinta Sioli in the men's 73 category, 73 kg category in uh, weightlifting has won the third gold medal for India in the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham 2022. So, this was the answer. I hope you have written the correct answer in the comment. Let's go to the next question. The next question is when did the earth break its shortest day record is it on july 27th 
is it on july 28th is it on july 29th or is it on july 30 your time begins now The time is over the correct answer to this question is C July 29th yes earth has broke its shortest day record as uh, earth did complete its rotation in July 29th in 1.5 milliseconds shorter than the regular 24 hours time okay so with this earth uh, the shortest day on the earth has been observed on 29th of July let's go to the next question uh, before moving towards let's, uh, next question, you can get the free PDF of this session by liking the video, subscribing to the channel and uh, sending the screenshot just like this as shown in the screen to the WhatsApp number given above. And in this way, you can get the free PDF of this session. And in order to get the PDFs of all sessions, you need to buy it. Okay, the PDF uh, packages are shown in the screen below. Uh, for that also, you need to send uh, text in the whatsapp number above so you can get free pdf of this session and you need if you want the pdfs of all the session you can buy it from the packages as shown in the screen and for that you need to send a text to the whatsapp number above so this is it let's go to next question the next question is a new species of damsel fly has been discovered in which state is it on tamil nadu is it on kerala is it on uttarakhand or is it on Assam, your time begins now. Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is Kerala. A new species of uh, damsel flight has recently been discovered in the western ghats of Peachy Wildlife Sanctuary in Thrissur, Kerala. Okay, you can also remember that Peachy Wildlife Sanctuary is in Kerala in Thrissur. And here, a new species of damsel fly has been discovered. So I hope you have written the correct answer in the comment. Let's proceed to next question. The next question is Who led India in the three match ODI series against Zimbabwe? Is it KL Rahul? Is it Sekhadhavan? Is it Rohit Sharma? Or is it Rishabh Pant? Your time begins now. Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is B. Sikhar Dhawan. Sikhar Dhawan will be leading this uh, team, Indian cricket team, in the three match ODI against Zimbabwe. So, this is it. Let's go to next question. I hope you have written the correct answer. The next question Who has taken charge as the new Delhi Police Commissioner? Okay, who is the new Delhi Police Commissioner? Is the question. Is it A. Sanjay Agarwal? Is it B. Sanjay Arora? Is it C. Surjit Bansal? Or is it D. Vinay Pathak? Your time begins now. Well, your time is over. The correct answer to this question is B. Sanjay Arora. Sanjay Arora, if you remember, he was the former uh, DG, Director General of ITBP, Indo-Tibetan Border Police, and now he is the uh, new Delhi Police Commissioner. Okay, so Sanjay Arora, please remember it. Let's proceed to next question. I hope you have written the correct answer in the comment. The next question is, who have won the silver in the women's judo 48 kg final at commonwealth games 2022 on 1st of august 2022 so again from the commonwealth is it a susila devi link lick mabam is it b harjinder kaur is it c bidyarani devi or is it d mirabai chano your time begins now Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is A. Susila Devi Likmabam. Okay. Susila Devi Likmabam has won the silver medal, not the gold medal, but the silver medal in judo. First of all, remember the event judo in women's judo and in which category? In 48 kg. Okay. In 48 kg women's judo, uh, she has won silver medal in the Commonwealth Games 2022, Birmingham, England. Let's proceed to next question. Which country will organize exercise pitch black? Okay, there's an exercise by the name pitch black. Which country is organizing it? Is it organized by Indonesia? Is it by Malaysia? 
is it australia or is it japan who is organizing it your time begins now well the time is over the correct answer to this question is c australia okay it's a welfare exercise and the name of the exercise is exercise pitch black and uh, it is uh, hosted by royal australian air force okay it it takes place on once in every two years in the northern australia's royal australian air force base that is in darwin and tyndall okay so india will also be participating uh, in this exercise so that's why we are discussing it and uh, in, along with india there are different countries as you can see in the screen so australia's exercise is pitch black okay pitch black let's go to next question india won a historic gold in which of the following sports for the first time in the commonwealth games again from the commonwealth india has won gold in which of the following sports for the first time is it on uh, lawn bowl is it the gold in water polo is it the gold in roving or is it the gold in fencing your time begins now write the correct answer you can even guess well the time is over the correct answer to this question is lawn bowl so for the first time in the lawn bowl india has won the gold medal in the commonwealth games okay this is india's first ever medal in this sport event the indian lawn bowl team defeated south africa by 17 10 in the final so this is it lawn bowl india has won gold in this event for the first time i hope you have written the correct answer uh, let's proceed to next question the indian badminton mixed team has won which medal at the commonwealth games too many commonwealth questions again from commonwealth is it gold is it bronze medal is it silver medal okay indian badminton team mixed team has won which of the following medals your time begins now well the time is over the correct answer to this question is silver medal okay in the mixed badminton teams in the commonwealth games 2022 india has won silver medal after losing the final okay uh, because in the final malaysia has won it and malaysia has won the gold and after losing india has won silver okay in the badminton mixed team so this is it let's go to next question i hope you have written the correct answer next question vikas thakur who has won the silver medal for india at the commonwealth games 2022 is associated with with sport so uh, what is vikas thakur associated with is it is he a boxer okay is it a, is he a judoka or a judo player is he a weightlifter or is he a badminton player your time begins now Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is weightlifting. So Vikas Thakur is a weightlifter and he has won a silver medal in the men's 99 kg final with a combined lift of 346 kg. Okay. So Vikas Thakur in the men's 96 kg final, who is a weightlifter, has won the silver medal in Commonwealth Games 2022, Birmingham, England. So let's go to next question i hope you have written the right answer in the comment box the next question is who is nancy pelosi it's she white house chief of staff is she u.s house of representative speaker it's she state secretary or it's she defense secretary your time begins now nancy pelosi well the time is over nancy pelosi is the u.s house of representative speaker okay nancy pelosi who is an american politician serving as the 52nd speaker of u.s house of representatives since 2019 so this is the answer i hope you've written it correct let's go to next question the next question is who will be the 49th chief justice of india very important question 48th chief justice of india was nv ramana and uh, after his superannuation the 49th chief justice of india is one of the following persons in the options is he justice sk call is he justice s abdul nazir is he justice dy chandrachur or is he justice uu lalit 49th chief justice of india your time begins now write in the comment box well 
एन वी रमना हैज बीन सक्सीडेड बाय जस्टिस यू यू ललित यस जस्टिस उदय यू ललित इज सेट टू बिकम द फोर्टी नाइन्थ चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ इंडिया एज द करेंट और वी कैन से इवन द फॉर्मर चीफ जस्टिस एन वी रमना recommend is just this you you lalit's name as his successor okay so you you lalit will be succeeding n v ramana as the 49th chief justice of india i hope you have written it correctly this is extremely important let's go to next question which company is india's highest ranked company in the fortune 500 global list 2022 is it reliance industry limited is it lic is it indian oil corporation limited or is it ongc your time begins now india's highest ranked company fortune 500 global list well the time is over the correct answer to this question is lic yes lic is india's highest ranked company in the fortune 500 global list lic life insurance corporation okay and globally it is at 98th position okay lic uh, you can remember the foundation year of lic is 1956 Let's go to next question. I hope you've written the right answer of this question in the comment. Next question: The newly designated Ramsar site, Konthakulam Bird Sanctuary, is located in which state? Okay, Konthakulam Bird Sanctuary, which is a Ramsar site. Okay, newly designated Ramsar site. It belongs to which state? Is it in Goa? Is it in Karnataka? Is it in Tamil Nadu? Or is it in Madhya Pradesh? Your time begins now. Konthakulam Bird Sanctuary. Okay, it is important from even static point of view. Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is Tamil Nadu. Yes, recently uh, India has designated ten more wetlands as Ramsar sites. Okay, and among these ten uh, Ramsar sites, the uh, one of the Ramsar sites is Konthakulam Bird Sanctuary, which is in Tamil Nadu. Let's go to next question. The next question is the world's largest floating solar power power plant. will be built in which district okay it will be built in india and it will be built in which district is the question is it shivpuri is it khargon is it mandala or is it khandwa your time begins now well the time is over the correct answer to this question is khandwa which is in madhya pradesh okay so world's largest floating solar power plant in india will be built in khandwa which is in madhya pradesh i hope you have written the right answer in the comment let's go to next question again from the commonwealth games tulika man who won silver medal uh, has won silver medal in which sport at commonwealth games basically tulika man uh, the silver medal winner is associated with which sport it's uh, is it weightlifting is it squash is it judo or is it track and field your time begins now well the time is over the correct answer to this question is judo tulika man is the third indian judoka okay we call judoka as the player who plays judo so tulika man became the third indian judoka to win a medal at commonwealth games in birmingham she has won silver in the women's judo 78 kg category so this is it let's go to next question i hope you have written the correct answer you can see the more details in the screen if you want uh, next question the next question The Galtin Gadali volcano, which erupted recently, is located in which country? The volcano by the name Galtin Gadali, okay, which was recently erupted, it erupted in which country? Was it erupted in Indonesia? Was it in Malaysia? Was it in Iceland? Or was it in Japan? Your time begins now. Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is C, Iceland. The Galtin Gadali volcano erupted in an uninhabited valley near Iceland's capital Reykjavik. Okay, so Reykjavik, which is Iceland's capital, and in an uninhabited valley near the Reykjavik, this Galtin Gadali volcano erupted. So this was it. I hope you have written the correct answer. Let's go to next question. Who won India's first ever medal in high jump at Commonwealth Games? Again, from the Commonwealth, high jump. Uh, who has won India's first ever medal in high jump in the Commonwealth Games? Is it A. Duti Chand? Is it B. Hema Das? Is it C. M. Sri Shankar? Or is it D. Tejaswin Shankar? Your time begins now. Yeah.
Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is D. Tejaswin Shankar. Tejaswin Shankar, who is a high jumper, has won the first ever medal in high jump in the Commonwealth Games 2022. Okay, so just remember this because it is India's first ever medal in high jump. Okay, so this name becomes extremely important. Of course, others name other names are also important, but since it is the first ever medal in the high jump, so Tejaswin Shankar, you can exclusively remember. So I hope you have written the correct answer. Let's go to the next question. The next question is in which state Prime Minister Modi has inaugurated and laid the foundation stone of the Srimad Rajachandra Mission Projects. Okay, Srimad Rajachandra Mission Projects. It has been inaugurated by PM Modi in which of the following state? Is it in Uttarakhand? Is it in Uttar Pradesh? Is it in Karnataka or is it in Gujarat? Your time begins now. Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is Gujarat. Okay, you can just remember it as one liner. Srimad Rajachandra Mission Project has been recently inaugurated in Gujarat by PM Modi. I hope uh, you have written the correct answer. Let's go to next question. Which country will host United Nations Security Council meet on counterterrorism in uh, October 2022? Is it India? Is it US? Is it China? Or is it Russia? Your time begins now. The time is over. The correct answer to this question is India. Yes, India will be hosting United Nations Security Council meet on counterterrorism in October 2022. So this is it. Let's go to the next question. I hope you have written the correct answer. Murli Sri Shankar has won the silver medal in which sport in the ongoing Commonwealth Games? Again, one from the Commonwealth. Is it a weightlifting? Is it B boxing? Is it C athletics or is it Z, uh, D judo? Your time begins now. Murli Sri Shankar is associated with with sport. Well, the time is over. Murli Sri Shankar belongs to athletics. Okay, he is a long jumper. Uh, so Murli uh, Sri Shankar in the long jump event has won the silver medal in the uh, Commonwealth Games 2022. The correct answer is athletics okay athletics long jump comes under athletics only so this was the answer i hope you have written it correct let's go to the next question the next question is who was nominated by the opposition for the post of vice president of india in the 2022 election you know india has recently got uh, both president and vice president okay new president and vice president but then who was nominated by the opposition for the post of vice president for the president we know yaswant sinha okay recently draupati murmuji was the uh, has been elected as the president of india and uh, the opposition candidate was yaswant sinha for the president and for the vice president post who is the opposition candidate is it a malikarjun kharg is it b kamla beniwal is it c shivraj patil or is it d margaret alva your time begins now The time is over. The opposition candidate for the post of vice president is Margaret Alva, okay, who is also the former union minister and uh, governor, okay, a governor of many states, Gujarat, Goa, Uttarakhand, and Rajasthan. Danuri is the moon mission of which country? Okay, Danuri is the moon mission of which country? It's a pretty simple question. Is it uh, Malaysia's mission? Is it Japan's mission? Is it South Korea's mission? Or is it Singapore's mission? Your time begins now. The time is over. Danuri is the moon mission of South Korea. Okay, South Korea, it has launched its maiden spacecraft to the moon and joined the race with other countries. And the name of this moon mission is Danuri and it is worth 180 million US dollars. So this is the South Korea's first step in lunar exploration. So Danuri is South Korea's moon mission. Let's go to next question. I hope you've written the correct answer of this question as well. The next question is who has been elected as the 14th vice president of india as we were discussing in a previous question uh, vice president who is the 14th vice president of india 13th vice president was m brenkaya naidu and now india recently got its 14th vice president is it a margaret alva is it b jagdeep dhankar is it c venkaya naidu is it d biman Banerjee? the time begins now
Well, the correct answer to this question is Jagdeep Dhankar. Yes, Jagdeep Dhankar is the 14th Vice President of India. So, who is the President of India? Draupadi Murmu. Who is the Vice President of India? He is now Jagdeep Dhankar, replacing or succeeding Venkaya Naidu. Okay, Jagdeep Dhankar. And it can be asked that uh, Jagdeep Dhankar was the Governor of which state before becoming the Vice President? So, the correct answer would be Jagdeep Dhankar was the Governor of west bengal okay please write in the comment box that who is the current governor of west bengal then okay so jagdeep dhankar vice president of india let's go to the next question first flight of akasa air it has been inaugurated between which of the following two cities in india okay akasa air which is owned by rakesh junjunwala and the first flight of this uh, akasa airlines it has been inaugurated and the question is it has been uh, it is flying the first flight is between which two cities it, is it from ahmedabad to lucknow is it from jabalpur to delhi is it from chennai to mumbai or is it from mumbai to ahmedabad your time begins now well the time is over the correct answer to this question is mumbai to ahmedabad okay mumbai to ahmedabad akasa air is flying for the first time so this is it let's go to next question badhe chalo campaign under azadi ka amrit mahotsav has been launched by which central ministry badhe chalo okay it's a campaign under azadi ka amrit mahotsav so it has been launched by which central ministry is it ministry of culture is it ministry of external affairs is it ministry of housing and urban affairs or ministry of home affairs your time begins now Well, the correct answer to this question is Ministry of Culture. Okay, but it's a low, it's a campaign launched by Culture Ministry. Who is the Culture Minister? He is G. Kishan Reddy. Okay, G. Kishan Reddy. He is the Lok Sabha MP from Sikandarabad, Telangana. Let's go to next question. Which Indian woman boxer has won the gold medal in women's 50 kg boxing? at commonwealth games 2022 so again the last question from the commonwealth which indian woman boxer has won the gold medal in women's 50 kg boxing okay in the commonwealth games is it a nikhat jareen is it b lovelina burgohoin is it c maricom is it d Purja rani your time begins now well the time is over the correct answer to this question is nikhat zareen yes nikhat zareen won india's third gold medal in boxing in the commonwealth games 2022 and uh, nikhat zareen is the correct answer to this question in the women's 50 kg boxing category okay so with this we complete 30 questions we have three bonus questions as well so let us discuss these questions Military exercise Yudhabhyas is held between India and which other country? Okay, Yudhabhyas is a military exercise between India and is it A, Australia? Is it B, India and Japan? Is it C, India and United States? Or is it D, India and France? Your time begins now. now please write the answer. well the correct answer to this question is united states okay uh, united states and india have a military exercise called yudh abhyas the another military exercise between usa and india is vajra prahar okay Vaj vajra prahar and another is cope india and Ta tiger trump okay there are basically four exercises vajra prahar cope india tiger trump and this yudh abhyas india and uac so next bonus question when is the national handloom day observed in india the national handloom day observed is is it observed in 8th august is it on 6th august is it on 7th or is it on 5th your time begins now so your time is over the correct answer to this question is 7th of august okay 7th of august every year we observe national handloom day this day has a special significance in the history of india's freedom struggle as on the same day in 1905 swadeshi andolan was started okay so in uh, 7th of august 1905 swadeshi andolan was started and to commemorate this day national handloom day every year is celebrated on 7th august let's go to next question which astronomical observatory in india has been added to the unesco list okay so recently an uh, observatory in india has been added to unesco's list which is it is it a madras astronomical observatory is it Vanu Bappu Astronomical Observatory, is it IUCAA Girawali Observatory or 
is it uh, Bihar Astronomical Observatory your time begins now this is the last question of the session well the time is over the correct answer to this question is Bihar Astronomical Observatory yes Bihar Astronomical Observatory has been added in the UNESCO's list so with this we complete today's session don't forget to write your scores in the comment box and don't forget to like share and subscribe to assist Sikkim. you can get the free pdf of this session by just liking this video subscribing to this channel and just send the screenshot like this in the whatsapp number given below and then you'll get the free pdf and to get all the pdfs of uh, all the sessions uh, in the SSC Sikkim, uh, you can get in three ways okay to get all pdfs at one more than 50 pdfs covering state national international current affairs it will cost you 300 for only state covers uh, state current affairs it will cost you 200 and uh, if you want a pdf of 175 mcqs of Sikkim current affairs of past month it will cost you 100 okay and please note that this uh, PDF that is 175 MCQs is not added in the 200 or 300 bundle. So, thank you so much for being in this session. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to SSC Second. Bye bye.